All right, in this video, we're going to talk through some examples using set theory. Um, in particular, I'm talking about unions, intersections, and complements. So um, I have these three sets, and we're assuming that the sample space here is all real numbers. Okay, so um, the set A is um, x such that x is between negative 1, including negative 1, and 2. Right? So that's the way we would read this. Um, B is x such that x is between 1 and 5, including 5. And then C is x is such that x is positive, including 0. All right, so first, um, let's start with finding the complement of A. Okay, um, so A, right, I think it's helpful to draw out what is A. Okay, so we have negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Okay, drawing out a number line is very helpful in these type of problems. And so um, we have including negative 1, not including 2. This is where A is, okay? So the complement will be everywhere else in the sample space, which sample space is all real numbers, except for where A is, right? That's what the complement means. So that basically will be, if I use a different color, that will be all these numbers down here. I'll include two, since two was not included in A, and then all these numbers up here, okay? So what's my solution? This is X, such that X is, from negative infinity until we get to negative one, right? So you could have just written x is less than negative one, that's the same thing, okay? Or uh, we have from two, x is greater than or equal to two to positive infinity. Right, so x is greater than 2. That would be the same thing, right? So you could have simplified this and said, okay, um, you know, x is less than negative 1, or x is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, that's the same thing. All right, so that's the complement. All right, um, next, a... And then what's the symbol here? That means union, okay? So union, remember, means or. So basically A or B. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by drawing out, well, first, what is A? All right. So I have negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Um, open circle for 2, closed circle for 1, negative 1. And here's A, okay? So what is B? All right, so I'm looking right here. So if I draw this out, um, starting with one, two, three, four, and then five, I include five, I don't include uh, one, so I have an open circle there, and then I, okay. So now, if I am in A, so if there's an X value that is in A, or, that's in B, it'll be included in this union, right? Okay, so let's see. We have X such that, okay, so all these numbers down here are not included, right? In either A or B. Um, once I get to negative one, I'm now included in A, so that counts as part of the union. So I'll start at negative one. X has gotta be greater than, or greater than or equal to, because it's a solid circle. All right, and then I keep going, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Now here at one, I'm not included in B, but I am included in A, so I'm still good. Uh, once I get to two, I'm not included in A, but I'm included in B, so I'm still good, I'm in one or the other. All the way until I get to five. Right, and I have a solid circle at five, so there we go, that's my union, okay? X is all, all X, or X such that uh, we are between negative one and five, right? So the union, here's negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five. The way you would draw this, you'd have a solid circle on both sides, right? And the union is all numbers between negative one and five. All right, A, B, 
complement. Now, um, you could also write this. This is the same thing as saying A intersection B complement. Now, a lot of times people will just kind of drop the intersection, right? If you don't see a union, they just assume that you know that there's an intersection there, okay? So when you see them uh, two sets next to each other, um, it, it's assumed that you, you know that that means intersection. Um, you could also write it with the upside down U, the intersection sign. So basically what does that mean? What is intersection? Intersection is A and B complement. So X must be in both A and B complement. All right, so let's just re recall what is A. A goes from negative one, including negative one, zero, one, and two. All right, now I need B complement, not B, right? And so I have B right here, so I can see where is B complement gonna be. Let me use a different color. B complements will basically be everywhere else. And I will include that one, but I won't include the five. Okay, so I'll start here at one, two, three, four, five, right? And at five, I will not include the five, but I will go forward from there. And at one, two, three, and then at one, I will include the one, right? Because the one was not included in the original B, so in B complemented, it will be there, okay? And this is B complement, right? It's basically whatever wasn't in B. All right, so now I have A and B. I can figure out what is, actually, let me go ahead and erase this. This is not, this is not uh, color coded correctly. All right, so now that I have A and B complement, I can figure out what elements are in both A and B complement. All right, the intersection, okay? So when I'm down here, it, you're not, I have elements that are in B, but not in A, so it doesn't work. It only starts working once I have elements in both, right? And then, so basically I have elements in both from negative one, right? from negative one, including negative one, because that's a solid circle there, until I get to positive one. So here's zero, positive one, and I have a solid circle there, a positive one. And then once I keep going, I do not have the elements in B, and then up here, I do not have the elements in A. So the intersection is only gonna be between negative one and one. Okay including both sides, both negative one and one. Okay. All right, uh, part four here. Okay, what's going on? I have all the complements and I'm intersecting them all. So the first thing I'm gonna need to do is figure out what is the complement for each piece, right? B complement and C complement. Right, I think it's super helpful to always start by drawing these out. All right, I see students try to do this in their head all the time and that's usually when mistakes start happening, okay? So draw it out. Now remember, um, I basically was lazy in my notation and I didn't draw the intersection sign, but of course this is the same thing, right? So I could have written it like this, or if you don't have the intersection sign, it means the same thing. All right, so starting with what is a complement? Okay, well, we already found a complement, actually, um, in, part, in number one, but it's everything that's not in A, right? So um, let me change my color back to green. So A did include negative one, zero, one, and two. And let me make this out a little further, okay. Um, so A does include negative one, so A complement won't, right? And we went all the way back this way. And once we got to two, two, we had a solid circle there. And we, we did this, right? Like we talked about this in part one, right? So X 
less than negative one or more than or equal to two. Okay, so what's B complement? B complement. So I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, B, right, B is between one and five. So B complement will be everything else, right? So it won't be between one and five. Instead, it will be down this way and up this way. Now, let's talk about including or not including one and five. So if, if one was not included in B, then it will be included in the complement. If five was included in B, then it won't be included in the complement, right? So complement member is everything that's not in B. All right, C complement. All right, so we have zero here. C is greater than zero. So the complement will be less than zero, right? And if zero was included in C, then it can't be included in the complement. So I'm gonna have an open circle there. All right, so once you've drawn this all out, now I just need to think about, okay, where do these intersect, right? Where is the intersection? Meaning I need to be in set, in this set, in this set, and in this set, right? So I need to be in all three sets. Okay, well, down here, I'm in all three sets, right? X is in all three sets, I'm good to go. Uh, once I get to negative one, I have a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna write it down here. So this equals X such that looks like I can be from negative infinity all the way up until I get to negative one, not including negative one because I have an open circle there. All right, and then if I look, continue to look for an intersection, okay, I never again will X be part of all three sets, right? Because C was just negative numbers anyway, and then up here, so I don't have an I can't I'm not in C, I'm just in A and B, A um, complement and B complement, but I'm not in C complement, so I will never again um, satisfy the, the intersection, right? I'll never again be in part, all three. So you could write it like this. Uh, of course, this is the same thing as saying, um, looks like X, such that X is less than negative one. That's the same thing, okay? All right, um, A, union, C, and then intersection, B. Okay, so this is the same thing, right? Union, C, intersection, B, right? I just was lazy and didn't draw the intersection sign, but it means the same thing, okay? So when you have these, this type of problem, always start with what's inside the parentheses first. First, figure out what is A, union, C, all right? So what is A? A, negative one, zero, one, two. Open circle at two. Make it just scroll up. Open circle at two, close circle at negative one. Okay. I'm actually gonna draw C in the same color. I have zero and C is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so I have, now I need to figure out what is A union C. A union C, so union means or, right? So if X is in one or the other, all right? So starting at negative one, X is in A, so that means it's gonna be part of the union. Right. When I get to zero, I'm still part of um, A and C. When I get to two, I'm no longer a part of A, but I am still part of C, and then onwards forever to infinity. Okay. All right, so now what is B? What is B? B, let me scroll up, was between one and five, not including one. So here's one, two, three, 
4 and 5, not including 1. Okay, and I want to find the intersection. Intersection means it needs to be part of both this guy and this guy. X needs to be in both. That's what the intersection means. Okay, so X is not in both. It's not in both, not in both, not in both. And then finally, it's in both, right? So looks like I'm only going to be in both A union C and in B when I'm at B, right? So what is the answer to this? B, right? And you can write out the set B, but basically the answer is going to be when X is between X such that X is between negative 1, not including negative 1 and 5, which is exactly what B is. Okay, lastly, A, this is the same thing as A, intersection C, complement, union, B. So start with what's inside your parentheses first, okay? So what do we have? A, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, open circle at 2, close circle at negative 1, and we're here, okay? What is C? Actually, I want to know what is C complement. Okay, C is greater than or equal to zero, so C complement will be just less than zero, not including zero, right? Okay, and so the intersection means you need to belong into both of these guys. Intersection is just right here. Okay, so let me draw this. A C complement, which is the intersection between A and C complement, will be between negative 1 and 0, not including 0, because in C complement I do not include 0. I do include negative 1, okay? And then I need to union that with B, so let's remind ourselves what is B. B is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And from 5, open circle for right there. Okay, so union, union. So I need, X can, needs to belong to one or the other. Okay, not happening back here. It does happen here. It does happen here, right? And then it doesn't happen again, right? So A, C, complement, union, B will be from negative 1 to 0, open circle, close circle here. And then once I get to 1, I have an open circle, close circle. So this is 1, and then 2, 3, 4, right? So it's these two different pieces. So how do I write that? x such that x is between negative 1 and 0, or x is between 1 and 5.